Hey YouTube, this is Rishika. So uh, this would be my 36th video tutorial on data stage. In my previous video tutorials, I I pretty much covered uh, the transformer stage. I made like 11 different paths of the transformer stage. So the uh, for whoever uh, is listening just this video, uh, please check out the transformer stage in detail. I made like 11 different parts. So 11th part, whichever you see is that is the last one on the transformer stage. Okay, so this would be like uh, a series of uh, uh, videos other than transformer. Okay, so uh, because I have been explaining a lot about the stages, I thought uh, I would explain little theory about the containers from this video. I mean, in this video, not from this. It's just like simple concept. So... In this video, I'll explain the containers concept, both local containers and shared containers, okay? So uh, please don't mind uh, this complex design. There is nothing in it. I just designed uh, just before uh, the video because I want to show what's the use of the containers in data stage actually. Okay, so let's get into uh, the video, uh, actual video and know what are the containers and how many types of containers and what's the use of the containers. Okay, so basically uh, the containers, what what they do is, if you see here, this please follow my cursor as I say in every video. If you see here, uh, this this like this uh, complex design, it's it's not complex enough, but uh, let's say let's for our purpose let's call it a complex design. It's nowhere near to complex, uh, trust me, in real time. Okay, so but for our purpose, let's say it's complex. Okay. So uh, let's say uh, you're trying to do something or uh, let's say you're trying to explain it to a layman or sometimes to a client, okay, who doesn't have uh, knowledge about the data stage. So if you design, uh, like let's say we have like two of more on this continuation, okay. So what happens is when you have like all this com uh, complex design as of now, uh, what happens is when you show this design to client, client doesn't understand because he has no data stage knowledge right he just wants to know i mean let's say a scenario where the client wants to know how exactly i mean how effectively you design the job okay so that's that's a case so what happens is sometimes your project managers ask for uh, ask for like giving a little presentation or having a little talk with the client uh, showing exactly what you did in the job it it doesn't happen always but sometimes it does okay so uh, then if you uh, if you just put the transformer and the filter and you exp sorry and you explain it to the client like I put a transformer and I put all the transformations and then I perform lookup it makes sense lookup filter all this data set stage all this makes sense for the person who has data stage knowledge right but who uh, if if you are explaining uh, to the uh, a client who doesn't have a data stage knowledge let's call him a layman okay he doesn't uh it, it, he, he feels uh, something wrong or he feels complicated right so for that reason for making the job design to look simpler and make your job easy you can uh, construct a container of your own okay so basically containers make the contents of the uh what, what do i say like job of the data stage design uh simple okay and uh, you can have like you uh, what what happens in containers it's not just the stages but the links associated with are also included in the container okay so yeah that's it so instead of uh, instead of all these stages if you make a container so what going to happen is uh, instead of like let's say one two three four five stages it's going to be only one simple stage and that stage will be the container okay but that container when you try to open that container that container has this input logic i mean uh inner logic okay so what happens in that container is transformer lookup sequential data search filter all this happens in that container that, that the logic all is uh, uh what is embedded in the container okay so yeah for it's it doesn't change anything except that we are trying to make our uh job or the design to look simpler okay and uh, uh, there are two types of con that's a basic use so uh, there are two types of containers in it uh, one is the local container and the other is shared container it's it's pretty simple right uh, the word says it all right as i say in every video just focus on the words even if you don't know uh, something uh, but if you focus a little on the word and the sentence i'd say uh, you can get it like ha almost halfway through it 
okay so yeah local containers it's just local to that job and shade containers obviously it's uh, reusable container so you can use it any job in that specific project okay so yeah it, it's analyzer project right so i can use the shade containers only in this project i can't switch uh, this shade containers to another project that's another important thing about the shade containers okay so yeah uh, let's let's lo uh, let's know how to build a local con uh, local uh, i mean how to construct a local container and what exactly does uh, we have and all that okay so basically it's the same thing again local containers or whatever containers usually make it easier to understand what's uh, what's happening in the job okay and uh, as i said local means specific to that job right so once a local container is created within a job that container is only accessible uh, accessible by that specific job okay and uh, yeah the container can be created it doesn't matter which uh, uh, which palette i mean which uh, uh, what do i say which uh, canvas you are using either it can be like parallel or server you can have it in both uh, both the jobs server or parallel jobs okay so what happens is uh, you, okay let's say uh, we want to uh, move this right in example so uh, i'm just like dragging you know dragging right yeah being dealing with computer all these days yeah you should know dragging so just drag on to the specific stages what uh what you're feeling like uh, uh uh diverting the client or diverting the person instead of focusing on what's happening so yeah uh, so these are the pretty much things i don't like them to be uh, individually so instead i want to make them one thing right so i can uh, i can just go to edit there are many ways of uh, creating i mean not many uh, there are probably like three different ways of creating container but yeah let me just uh, show you uh, probably one or two okay it's it's important to know how that is created it doesn't matter which way you create right so yeah uh, so construct container so go to the edit option and go construct container so when you click on when you uh, just place your cursor on construct container it says local or shade right so it's it's asking whether you want to create a local container or a shade container so choose it here itself i mean it doesn't matter you can you can convert it later too so for now for this example let's make it local okay so it's asking uh, are you sure you want to uh, make const i mean construct a container so i'm saying yes i'm sure uh, you go ahead uh, okay so that's one i said so now what happened is see here everything all that uh, all those stages and all that all that mess i would say that is just replaced with small box right so box in the sense container right so this is where all those stages and links and everything is like stored uh, it's not stored but like yeah uh, yeah ember and uh, not ember it's stored is right yeah uh, those are uh, just stored in that container jo those stages are just replaced by one simple thing which is called container but it doesn't mean that container a uh, container putting a container has lost everything it doesn't mean that when you double click on container see okay let me just put it this way see if you double click on the container this is the logic inside the container or this is the thing which you want to uh, hide it from the client right or the person right so yeah input uh, we can we can rename move or delete containers just as same like you can rename file and that jobs delete jobs and move jobs right so in the same way uh, you can rename move and delete the containers and uh, yeah you can edit the stages and links you can uh, you can edit just edit the stages and links see rename so you can edit the stages and links okay so it doesn't it doesn't change that so you might be wondering what is this input and output boxes okay so these input and output bo uh, output boxes are uh, basically the input and output stages are automatically added when you construct a container any container it doesn't matter local or shade but whenever you create a basic container the input and output stages are automatically added so uh, the link between the input and the output stage has the same link in the main job see this is ds link 2 right so if you see here her see this is ds link 2 so this container is now thinking this as input right so this is the only input right so this link will be the input ca container uh, the link from the input okay and everything will be same again 
and output see what is the output we uh, we, we don't have uh, we have output two different things right so output uh, what is this ds link 8 and ds link 10 if you notice here this is normal regular ring and this is a reject link right so yeah uh, ds link 8 and ds link 10 so see here see ds link 8 and ds link 10 right so the input and output links will be same uh, will be will be same as the uh, uh, main job okay so even if you rename here let's rename here uh, some HHH okay so and once you go here uh, let me just uh, click on that now okay it's not renaming I guess but it should rename I don't know what's happening okay let, let me just uh, skip that part okay doesn't matter uh, but yeah you need to understand that this link uh, the out input and output links will be the same links for the container okay that's another thing and uh, and let's say uh, let's say if you create a new container uh, uh, okay let's let's say you want to add more stages to the container so what happens is let's say uh, you want to add more containers so just put it so now okay let's close it now okay no okay now uh, let's see here see this is this is the uh, this is the I mean we can add or uh, delete the stages in the container itself okay it doesn't it doesn't matter you can add or delete the uh, stages but remember that adding or deleting the stages in the container gonna affect your job design right so if you just add a sequential file and you don't have anything it's not fun to do uh, just adding and deleting right you need to have some logic so remember whatever you are doing in here it's ultimately affecting the output because everything is being done here which is like which we can't see the stages but the logic is still uh, effective right so yeah that's uh, that's another uh, what do i say that's that's another important thing okay and uh, yeah uh, we can have like any number of links uh, that can be into and output uh, output we can have like uh, n number of I believe it's n number but yeah we can have like multiple number of input links and output links for a container okay and uh, once a connection is made uh, whatever uh, let's say uh, one let's say we have built a container okay and now if we go to here and uh, change well, there will be nothing here because this is just a dummy job okay and if we change the metadata here you must remember that that gonna affect the job because whatever metadata is being changed that affects your job right because the container is affected so uh, that gonna be connected uh, with the next stages in this actual job design right yeah and uh, yeah you not, you need not wonder let's say uh, let's say you have construct, uh, constructed a container but while uh, okay you're done with the presentation or you are done with the talk with the client and everything is done so now uh, probably project manager or someone uh, like let's say client have uh, asked you to do something else with the same job okay add something else or delete something else add something okay with the same job so you are tr if you are trying to do and it, it doesn't really make sense for uh, developers right because every time we need to click here and change input and all those things right so so that way uh, so that's when we can deconstruct the container so deconstructing means if you no longer want the container so just deconstruct it so uh, if you if you just right click on this right click on this see here it says deconstruct right so just uh, deconstruct it so it's asking are you sure you want to construct a d container uh, i mean container okay and the other option is you uh, what did we create local right yeah there are uh, two different containers local and shared so the sh local is this one and the shared has different icon it's, a, it's the same box like but it has like different little uh, graphical icon of its own so you can easily identify which one is a local container and which one is a shared container okay so uh, once you create container okay that's one so uh, if, if let's say yeah as I said uh, if you no longer wish to have container for itself just deconstruct container but let's say uh, you got a requirement to use the same logic in multiple jobs okay so if the same logic is being used in multiple jobs except that the metadata is different or something okay I mean not metadata uh, yeah let's let's do same data so what happens is even though it's the same data 
we can't use this container in next in our next job right let's say we're going to design another job but we can't use the same container because it's local container and it is it is specific to this specific job right so that's when the other container comes into action so just uh, so now uh, if i'm right we need to have a shared container to use it in the next job uh, whatever job in this project right so just right click again and below the deconstruct option there is convert to share right so when you just convert uh, click to convert to share it gonna ask okay so just uh, yeah it gonna now uh, ask us to save so let's save this shared okay, shared something okay so let's save it okay it's taking little time okay see now so now what happened the icon has changed right it was simple box but now it is it's still the same box but it's some it's sometimes it's showing like a shared icon right it's i believe uh, something globe like so it's like globalized i guess uh, within the project or something okay anyway we are least bothered about the icon uh, but you can easily differentiate between the local container and the shared container that's the important thing okay and it's the same uh, and let's say you are done with this and you don't want to uh, you don't want to uh, what do i say okay yeah let's say you can double click on it or you can right click and see all the properties related to that okay so you can open it still the same logic right because it's just the same logic okay and uh, what ha and, and uh, what next is so yeah and now you can close it uh, here so just close it and see still it's a uh, same uh, it's the same thing okay so this is how you uh, you're going to have the shade container okay so that's pretty much about uh, converting local content uh, local container to shade content it's it's nothing nothing more logical uh, just you need to understand when to use what okay that's it so uh, because we are done with the uh, uh, explanation of the local container it's, it's pretty simple guys i mean there may be uh, there might be more logics in it but uh, for some i mean for uh, for our purpose, uh, I mean, because I have been making videos, a series of videos for the beginners, uh, so I just want, I just want uh, them to learn or no, at least know, not even learn, at least know what is what. That's it. I don't want to really get into details unless and until I, uh, I complete all the uh, data stage uh, concepts. Okay. Once I'm done with all the concepts, then I gonna. I gonna de uh, get into detail uh, videos. I gonna make detail videos on each of that again. Okay, so yeah, there probably a list I guess. Okay, so anyways, yeah, coming to the shared containers. That's that's uh what whatever I have said about the local containers. That's good enough for the uh, beginners. Okay, so coming to the shared containers, it's still the same thing. Uh, uh simplifies the design, but the uh important and the important difference or the importance of the shade container is they are re reusable by other jobs in this project okay so yeah you can use this shade container in other jobs in the same project okay so because uh where did we sh uh, where did we sh we shade it here right okay for some reason what happens is uh sometimes it gets fr uh, froze okay that's okay I'll, I'll refresh it okay so yeah you can use it in any, any other job i'll show you how to use it too so okay and the other thing is yeah to construct a container see here uh while i have been telling uh, in the probably in the first or second video i have showed this step uh, and i told you that i'll uh, explain this container part later so that later is now okay so yeah you might be wondering why is this container icon here uh, in a way like when we can when we can construct when we can con uh, con construct the containers by ed editing edit menu and all that why is this option here if uh, if you choose this option what happens is it's just like another stage so uh, what happens is okay okay so uh, what happens is it it's just like another stage so when you click on this there will be nothing but once you have input and output tabs you can have your own any number of stages or whatever the logic is here you can do it here instead of instead of putting the stages and uh, then making a container you can actually make a container 
and then click on the container and make uh, and the design your job based on uh, whatever the requirement is okay so this is an other way like it's the other way around okay so it's pretty much same the logic is same unless that uh, instead of yeah making it first you're making it uh, i mean instead of making it last you're just making it first okay that's it okay so yeah uh if let's say uh when is this shade containers useful okay let's uh just delete this because we are done with this it doesn't it creates confusion let's delete this okay okay so uh what is uh, when when are these shade containers useful means because they are shade right so if if there is some common design or common stages to be uh, dealt with or common logic to be dealt with in a project so that's that's when these shade containers comes into action okay so yeah it's the same thing yeah one the other one other thing is shade containers they, because they are sh they can be shared they need to be stored right unless and until you quit you don't store them they can't be shared right so yeah shared containers can be stored in the repository but local containers they can't be stored in the repository because it's it's waste of uh uh time and waste of thing right because because that is only specific to that specific job it doesn't really make sense to save that right because it's already saved in that job once you run it's already saved in the job right so yeah that's it so shared containers are uh, stored in the repository and uh and uh how uh you uh and you can convert like the shared container to local so let's say uh, you're done you have you have you're done in the project and you no longer you are sure that you no longer uh require the same logic to be used so uh but yeah so on and all these things so what happens is you can convert it to local whenever you want you can switch back to like shared or local whenever you want okay doesn't really matter and you can rename and you can do all you can you can have like where is the data coming from and where is the like going to and all those things okay so it's just pretty much uh, the same as the stages except that the uh, containers like multiple stages are put together that's it okay so yeah and yeah remember one thing uh whenever like the logic is changed with the container maybe local container or shade container it's uh it's it always changes the job design right job design of the job logic and the other uh, interesting thing about the shared container is let's say uh, okay let's say you you have used a local container and you change the job design or you change the some logic transformation logic in that uh, container okay so what happens is when uh, when you use when you use the container uh, to run it only changes that specific job right but when you use shade container let's say for like three jobs and you change the design uh, or design or the transformation logic in one job using the container i mean in the container in one job it going to change the logic in every other job too because uh, it's the same container used in other job too right so how it going to uh, it doesn't understand it's it, it understands that okay the, uh, the okay she is trying to change uh, she is trying to change the container actually she is not trying to change the job but she is trying to change the container so the container is the common thing between all the jobs right so that's the reason it just uh, changes all the logic if if there is no uh, if there is no good i mean if there is no uh, let's say uh, good good logic or if there is no continuation of the logic in other jobs yeah the job just abots okay so that's the reason other interesting thing so you should be a little careful about the shade container uh, and changing the logics within the container so an other interesting and other uh, important thing about uh, shade containers is uh, i said what did i say about the metadata right if you change the metadata or if you change something in the shade content let's say metadata uh, if you change the metadata uh, you're going to have the problems with other things right so for that reason if you remember uh, an option runtime column propagation right so rcp so if you choose runtime if you enable uh, runtime column propagation you need not really worry about uh, metadata but that's in parallel jobs i guess right because runtime column propagation uh, going to be in parallel uh, jobs so yeah that's an other option other good option to choose uh, but it's not uh, as i have uh, as i have said in my previous videos i don't really remember which video is that but yeah in my early videos probably uh, some videos on 
I'm not sure. Okay, it's been like 36 videos, so I can't remember. I'm sorry. So yeah, uh, so you can use a RCP option. It's a good thing to do, but it's not always good because that leads to performance issues again, right? So uh, another thing is, uh, let's say uh, I did say uh, that there are server containers and parallel containers, right? So uh, you might be wondering if we can use like server containers in parallel and parallel containers in server, right? So yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, the other thing is which, uh, which like uh, pretty much I was amazed is containers they do have like a uh, uh, what do I say inbuilt uh, parallel thing uh, running in them. So if you choose a server container to run in parallel, it does not run parallel. But however, because you're trying to use the server container in parallel, each stage is divided into multiple instances, right? So the container itself runs in multiple instances, but it doesn't run in parallel mode. The content, whatever the stages are run, uh, stages in here, those doesn't run in parallel. Th those still run in the sequentially, but the container runs in multiple instances. That's it. Okay. So that's an uh, other thing. So yep, that's pretty much uh, about this. Uh, so now, okay, let me show you uh, how to how to. Uh, uh, use the shade containers in another job okay let me just uh, create another job okay and let me just have like some database i don't it doesn't matter because it's just the job so and this and now i do want to have shade containers so okay it's not showing up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm trying to refresh it but for some reason uh it, it doesn't show up so okay let me just close this and then repository sorry view repository and still it doesn't show up okay let me just close and restart my uh, system okay so it looks good now so database whatever that is and now I want to put uh, some container okay so what did the container so just drag and drop okay sorry <laughs> click on this and just drag and drop the container that's it it doesn't bother uh, it doesn't matter but just drag and drop the container okay that's it and you can write it to whatever i mean you can still have like uh, any number of things happening here you can have any number of output links and do whatever logic do uh, lo logic we can have after the container stages okay so just let just let just put a uh, data state data set stage okay so this is what so this is how i can use shade containers in another jobs in the same project okay so if you if you just open it uh if you just open it see it's still the same thing happening right so yeah this is uh how you can use uh you can uh use uh reuse the shade containers in the same project that's it so yep that's pretty much about the containers uh local and shade containers i hope it's it's not that much of a uh, uh, rocket science so i hope you got it uh and thank you guys thank you so much for watching my videos and uh appreciating me from timely basis and i'm i'm really thank you for uh thank you so much and uh in my next video i didn't really decide what i'm gonna do in my next video i'm sorry uh but i will try to do uh something from the let me just uh try to do something from the processing stages let me complete the processing stages uh i guess i'll deal with the processing stages and then go to development or debug or or i can i can ah, okay let me do one thing let me just uh go with the development and then processing or something okay i'll figure out something later i don't want to waste your time uh thinking my about my thinking i'll i'll figure out something and come up with uh another new video in pretty short time and thank you guys thank you so much for watching